And so I, li I liked where I was at. Uh, out of the last two that, that were left for us to, to choose, I, I actually was hoping that we would get the, get the 12. What strategy was playing out in your head? Well, maximum security is going to probably be the pace, on, on paper anyway. And I've got pretty much the same uh, similar running style to his. So I would have rather been on the outside of him so that if he does want to be aggressive and go, he can certainly do that. But if, if, if I'm not going to take away nothing that comes easy. So if my horse gets away, you know, like, like I'm, I'm praying he can, he'll be forwardly placed as well. So that could put me either on the outside of him or, or on the lead if he doesn't go. And if someone else decides to go with him, I could also sit, you know, third. And I, I'm not forced to, to, to use him as, I, as much as I would if I was down in the three. And being that I'm, I'm speed as well, I'd have to be really aggressive leaving there. I can still be aggressive leaving there, but not, not so much. And that, that's a big plus. Some people talk about the spot, and some people talk, riders talk about it's the horses you're around. How is that for you? Which one do you prefer? Is it a position or the horses you're around? Problem, it's a little bit of both, but I, I, honestly, it's really the horses you're around because if if you're drawn to the inside and the, and the, and the, and the say the two to three, the three four horses right outside of you don't have any speed, you don't worry so much about getting about getting knocked around because you should be quicker than them. Uh, and that's if everything goes right, man. I've seen horrible posts go extremely well. I, I was on on Lionheart in the one hole. And everyone was like, "Oh, you're in the one hole with 20 horses." Uh, he was two in front leaving the gate. I was laying second, as comfortable as comfortable could be. Never had to leave the rail. It was actually a wonderful spot to be in. So bad posts can turn into good ones. You know, that's the good thing about about horse racing. It just all depends. But it's like Bob said earlier on. Uh, you got to have the horse underneath you. Uh, I remember Big Brown drew the 20 spot, and, and I thought that's worse. That's just as bad as the one almost, just because you're so far out. And what a brilliant spot it was for him. So I mean, you got to have the right horse. Mike, were you a little bit nervous as the the post positions were taken away and three and four were still there? Yeah, I mean, but 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 the 12 was still there. Yeah. And, and I was I was hoping for the 12, and and we were blessed enough to get it. You know. What does what does the 12 allow you to do in this race? Uh, well, off of paper, you would certainly think that that uh, you know the seven horse maximum security is going to have probably the majority of the speed on paper. So that allows me to just sit off of him and pretty much do what I've been doing with him, and that's stay out of his way and let him get comfortable and let him get in that kind kind of nice cruising speed that he likes to get in. And uh, the 12 allows me to do that more than the 3 probably would have. If I was in the 3, I'd probably been pretty aggressive leaving there. Put some separation in between me and the rest of the field and see, look over and see what maximum security was going to do. At uh, this point, I can just kind of basically just park outside of him and see what I want to do from there. If he decides not to go, uh, again, I'm not going to try and go in 25 on him. Uh, I'm a firm believer that in... in, in Good horses with high cruising speed run better when you let them run to their to their what comes natural to them instead of taking it away from them. I think when you take away stuff like that from a, a horse with high cruising speed, you, you you pretty much make them ordinary. Do you like the fact that he's the favorite? Oh yeah, I I, I get uh, more pressure on me when I'm 50 to one than if I'm <laughs> if I'm the favorite. That's the whole idea. Is if you're on the favorite, you're on, supposedly on the horse to beat. So. I'm happy to be where I'm at. Mike, talk about, you, you've seen him gallop a few times, so just talk about the way he's looked over the track here at Churchill Downs. I'll, I'll be honest with you, he, he looks tremendous over this racetrack. For whatever reason, he's just floating over this ground right now. Mr. Mandela's done a great job of getting him here, and, and uh, I mean, he seems really happy. And that's over a fast course, and we already know that he'll run on a wet, wet track. So either way, we're, we're happy. What are your thoughts on 12? Love it. Being where everyone else drew, you know, uh, it's a good, good spot. Really good spot. If you had to pick one, what would you pick? Probably right around there. I would, I would say right around there. 12, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, maybe even 14 right in there. Just in the middle of the pack so that I wasn't forced to be on the lead, which I might have been out of the three hole. Uh, the way it drew, I, I, I had to have been pretty aggressive leaving there. You have to be. Otherwise, you know, you, you'll wind up, you'll think, you, you, oh, I'll just sit right here leaving there, and you'll wind up 13th. <laughs> I mean, we, that fast. If, so where I'm at, I'm able to, to get away well, but yet look over to my inside. Most of the speed should be to my inside, and I can see what they're doing. 
if they decide to go, I can park outside them. If they don't, then uh, I'll be happy with that with that position as well. Mike, you won the Derby with a horse that came from way out of it, Giacomo. You won with one that had a, a lot of speed with Justify, especially under the point system where there's not the sprinters you used to have. How important is it to have a horse that maybe can make his own luck as opposed to having the hope for luck? Uh, very important, uh, Jenny. Uh, uh, now with the point system, as you said, you don't have a lot of sprinters in there where when I rode it with, with Giacomo, there was a lot of, it was extremely fast pace. So that helped me coming from way out of it. Now with the point system, you, you don't quite see that as much. You know, although Justify did run pretty quick, but he was just naturally quick. He was just a, he was a real good horse with a high, high cruising speed. And, and uh, this horse has that kind of cruising speed. Uh, I'm certainly not going to compare him to him yet, but uh, he's got the, certainly a chance to, to do some, something special on Saturday. So we'll see. Mike, what went into the decision to take the mound on Omaha Beach? Uh, just several different things. Uh, I thought Bob had the top three horses going in, and, and we were blessed to, to have already beaten two of them. Uh, and then, uh, you know, my decision was between him and Roadster, who I think has an abundance of talent, an extremely talented horse. I just felt that, that Omaha Beach, for this race, uh, had the seasoning, more seasoning underneath his belt, and that he would ha handle any kind of surface. So you, you go in with less worries. Uh, his running style suits the previous derbies well. So that was pretty much it. Is it hard to tell Bob no? Oh, yeah. I'd be lying if it wasn't. I mean, I just won the triple crown for a man. But what's wonderful about Bob is, is uh, I was able to speak with him before I made my decision, and he said, we're good no matter what. You make your decision for this race, and don't worry about me. We're fine. How contentious is this field? It, it's... I mean, the Derby's always tough, but man, I mean, you can make a case for 10, 11 of them, 12 of them. Then you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't be shocked if they jumped up and won, you know. Is there one that you worry about more than any other? If you had to t give me one, I would say that, that uh, to me, game winners always hard. Because you can't just, you, you got to run your A race to beat him. You, you can't run a, a B plus and beat him. So we're going to have to run our A to A plus kind of race to beat him. He's, he, He's, even when you beat him, he's, he gets beat by this far. You know, twice, I thought I had him pretty easy. And once was with Omaha Beach, and the other one was with Roadster. And both times, he took me down to the wire. I, I thought I was going to blow by him in, in the Santa Anita Derby. And I got to him, and man, he locked on me. He wouldn't let me. He wouldn't let me just draw away. Same thing with with the Omaha Beach. Uh, he came at me. It was his first race back. I thought he was going to need it, and I put him away. I said, oh, I got him." And he came again, and he came again, and even galloping out, he kept coming at me. So. He's, he's the horse still to beat, I think.